So just wanted to make a quick MLB news video for you guys talking about the Arizona Diamondbacks and Matt Chapman this 2023-24 MLB offseason. So here on the screen is a tweet from MLB Deadline News on Twitter which says the Arizona Diamondbacks and San Francisco Giants are two teams to watch for free agent third baseman Matt Chapman per Robert Murray. So uh, Matt Chapman for this video also as well I just want to talk about the Diamondbacks as it has made as I have made a previous video I talked about him possibly going uh, back to the Bay Area. But for this video, we're just going to be focusing on the Arizona Diamondbacks. So for Matt Chapman, last year was not super ideal for him. It got off to a tremendous start. He was in line for a massive contract. And then he cooled off drastically, uh, barely hitting above 200, if I'm not mistaken. And his numbers overall, especially offensively, just weren't that good, um, all things considered. So Matt Chapman, of course, is a tremendous third baseman defensively. Uh, he won the Gold Glove Award this year for the fourth time in his career. Uh, he also has won the Platinum Glove Award uh, two times in his career. So third base-wise, defensively speaking, he's an amazing player, one of the best in all of baseball, if not the best in all of baseball. It's just offensively speaking, he's a little bit inconsistent, but perhaps him finding a change of scenery and a new home, possibly in Arizona, it could be the best thing for his career moving forward. So Matt Chapman this past year for the Blue Jays uh, put up a 4.4 worst season, 120. 22 hits, 17 home runs, uh, 240 batting average, 66 runs scored, 54 RPIs, 4 stolen bases, and on base of 330, uh, 424 so looking an OPS of 755, an OPS plus of 108. So for Matt Chapman, the idea of him going to the Diamondbacks and possibly playing for a championship caliber team next year has to be pretty appealing for him. Um, as someone who is from California, I believe, in Matt Chapman, perhaps returning closer to his hometown might not be a terrible idea. Uh, California is fairly close to Arizona, so uh, geographically speaking, it makes a lot of sense. The weather's beautiful as well, and uh, if you're looking for a replacement uh, over Evan Longoria, who was a pretty actually important part um, of this team last year in Arizona, Matt Chapman could be definitely seen as an upgrade not only for this year, Year, but the foreseeable future as well. So if you're sort of able to throw in Matt Chapman as sort of that five, six, seven hitter in this uh, Diamondbacks lineup uh, behind players like Corbin Carroll, Cattell Marte, Gabriel Marino, uh, Christian Walker, for instance, that could be an awesome spot for him. So this Snakes team definitely has a bright future, in my personal opinion. So if Matt Chapman wants to be a part of it, uh, he could very well be the team's uh, big-time acquisition this offseason. But is it going to happen? I guess only time will tell. Uh, there does appear to be a lot of interest in his services. So uh, are the Snakes going to be signing Matt Chapman? Leave all your thoughts down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.